doors are closing. Welcome to the world of Audible. Audible is the world's largest producer and retailer of audiobooks, with customers from all over the world. With a multitude of audiobooks, original podcasts, and other audio products, Audible is on a mission to unleash the power of the spoken word. Globally, the audiobook industry has had an annual growth of 10% for the past five years. In its existing markets, Audible faces stiff competition from other audiobook services such as Overdrive, Downpour, and Script. Overdrive is one of the fastest growing competitors in the market. In Singapore, it has partnered with the National Library Board to provide audiobook services. The other two competitors are Downpour and Script. Downpour's biggest strength lies in its digital rights management free audiobooks. It appeals to people who want to use any audio player for their audiobooks and copy these files however they like. Dubbed as a Netflix for books, Script provides individuals with unlimited access to audiobooks. It's the most affordable amongst all the audiobook players. Taking all these competitors into consideration, we propose to leverage the global interest in audiobooks and introduce Audible into the barely contested Singaporean market to turn it into a market leader here. We believe in the potential of the Singaporean market because of two important reasons. First, Singapore is projected to see a 4.2% rise in disposable income annually until year 2030. Research has shown that Singaporeans are increasingly willing to spend on recreation and personal care. With the rapid growth of a similar paid subscription digital audio service, Spotify, we can expect Singaporeans to be willing to commit a monthly fee for digital entertainment. Second, we look to the US audiobook market to emulate its success. The rapid uptake was championed mainly by the young working Americans who live a fast-paced, multitasking lifestyle. Sounds familiar? We observe the same in Singaporeans, an obsessive need to make full use of time which can be counterintuitive and increase stress levels instead. Enter Audible, the perfect solution to this dilemma. Audiobooks can engage the mind while the user is doing passive activities. At the same time, it provides an immersive, relaxing listening experience and a respite from the hours of work and screen time Singaporeans are subjected to. Nevertheless, Audible's development in Singapore will not be without challenges, the largest of which is the general disinterest in reading among Singaporeans. In a study by the National Arts Council, among people who are non-readers, half-cited lack of time or interest as the reason. However, this is not to imply that there is no room for Audible's entrance. In fact, we believe that the idea of reading can be made relevant again with Audible. First, lack of time is not a problem because users can multitask while using Audible. Second, we found that reluctant readers were more willing to listen to an audiobook than to read the print version. This means that it is possible for Audible to attract the non-readers. With these opportunities in mind, we hope to achieve the following business goal of $1 million in profit. Based on NSOF's growth share matrix, Audible is an existing product entering into a new market and should employ a market development strategy. Future strategies would leverage on this new market to analyze and identify different consumer segments to better introduce and promote the benefits of Audible. So, how are we going to achieve our goal of earning $1 million in profit in the next 12 months? Firstly, we need to attain a total number of 93,000 subscriptions by the end of 2018. Assuming that there are approximately 5,600 Audible users in Singapore now, we will require a 1,800% increase in number of subscriptions. Second, we need to boost sales revenue by 39% by the end of 2018. Third, we will achieve gross profit margin of 60%. So then, who are we targeting? We first look at the different types of consumers based on their demographics and psychographic segments, namely the bookworms, the social listeners, the white color commuters, the audiophiles, and the promotion chasers. We plotted a matrix of the desires of the segments based on the quality of the listening experience and the interactivity of the medium. Then, we plotted Audible and its competitors based on the current functions of their existing products. Audible ranks highest amongst competitors in listening experience, 
due to its vast audiobook library and superior mobile usability. Furthermore, Audible is the most individualistic since it does not offer any community interaction functions. As seen here, Audible currently caters to the audiophile consumer segment, which is made up of white-collar working adults aged 35 to 44. However, since those above the age of 40 were found to prefer reading traditional hard copy materials, we have chosen to target the white-collar commuters aged 25 to 34 who are more likely to use Audible's products. We found that Singaporeans spend an average of 84 minutes commuting on public transport to and from work on a weekday, suggesting that there is an opportunity for use of Audible in this segment. In-depth interviews were conducted to better understand the white-collar commuters segment. One of them expressed that while commuting on the train, I love that feeling when I plug in my headphones on my way home after a long day at work. I feel like tuning out from the rest of the people around me gives me solace and peace. This suggests that it is better for Audible to highlight the benefit of an individual experience for commuters to escape from the dreadful peak hour train ride. As such, we want to move the white-collar commuters away from competitors like downpour and podcasts and towards Audible. Four advertising objectives have been crafted in reference to the ADA model. Firstly, we have deduced that there are 181,000 white-colour commuters aged 25 to 34 in Singapore. We aim to raise the awareness of brand positioning in 90% of the target audience. Next, we aim to raise the interest in 70% of those aware with relatable and interesting messages. Third, we want to stimulate desire in 40% of those interested. Lastly, we intend to drive sales from 17% of those who desire the product. A realistic estimation suggests a monthly average of 7,700 subscriptions. And this is how we will attain our total number of subscriptions in a year. Moving on to the communication objectives, we present to you our big idea, escapism. It suggests the segregation that enables the individual to detach from reality escape from the world around them, and dive into a world of imagination. This idea aims to reach out to individuals who value personal space, reflection time, and self-entertainment. The idea of escapism was derived from the notable functions that Audible is famous for. Its vast library has over 180,000 titles. We propose the brand character of Audible to be imaginative and inviting, thereby allowing the audience to feel in charge of their own experience. Now to our media objectives. In order to reach at least 90% of annual target audience and a frequency of 10 exposures per viewer in a year, we will spend about $1 million across 12 media vehicles. We will adopt a pulsing strategy in which media buy will be heavier in April, September and October to drive sign-ups for Audible. With all these in mind, we believe that Audible will be able to unleash the power of the spoken word here in Singapore and earn a profit of $1 million over a year. We hope you had a pleasant journey with us. Doors are closing.